How to Replace a Car Clutch Step-by-Step -step Guide Hello there, and welcome back to our YouTube channel, Auto V Fix. Replacing a clutch is a labor-intensive job that can span several hours, but it's entirely achievable. The mechanical aspect is more critical than merely swapping out the major component. The entire process typically requires around 5 to 6 hours. Before delving into the steps of how to replace a car clutch, it's important to recognize that clutch replacement is a vital undertaking to ensure the vehicle's prolonged smooth operation. In instances where there's no time to reach a mechanic when the clutch malfunctions, you can opt to replace the car clutch on your own. Without further ado, let's delve into the details. A clutch is a mechanical device that is used to engage and disengage the engine to help in changing the gears by applying pressure to the flywheel. The released pressure from the pressure plate to the flywheel allows free spinning. Clutch replacement comes with car maintenance tips and tools that support the driver. Car clutch kits are available which come with the instruction manuals and other important tools to maintain your car and those tools can also be used in performing other tasks like changing a car tire. Can I replace my own clutch? Yes, there is no need to go to a mechanic school to learn about changing a car clutch. This video will guide you on how to replace the clutch at home in a few easy steps. How to replace a clutch in your car. Clutch replacement requires some tools in the right position of the car. Clutch replacement kits are available that contain all the major components of a car clutch. Beyond all, there are a few things that are required while replacing a car clutch such as 1. A jack. 2. A screwdriver. 3. Lubricant. 4. New flywheel. 5. New clutch. These all are essential tools for the maintenance of your car. Once you get hands-on with all these things, it is easy to start the process. Here is the stepwise guide of clutch replacement. Step 1. Park the car in a secure position. The first step involves hijacking the car to raise the front part of the car. Park the car in the right position to make the process easy. Use high jack of excellent quality to uplift the car above the ground level. The transmission and engine of the car must be carried out by the high jack with stability. Step 2. Get the transaxle ready to remove. The next step incorporates the removal of the transaxle to get to the car clutch. For this purpose, unhook the clutch cable and positive battery cables. Disconnect all the electrical connections and speedometer cable. Disconnect and remove the starter motor. Step 3. Unbolt the engine mount. Locate the bolts that connect the bell housing to the rear engine and remove all of them. Then remove the transaxle away from the engine. Lower the floor jack carefully and remove the car transmission by slightly raising the jack to support the car as well as to remove the transmission from the engine. Remove the drive axle and prop shaft. To get to the car clutch, you need to remove the pressure plate and slide the clutch disc out. At this step, you can repair or replace the flywheel and remove the dirt and debris from the crankshaft. Step 4. Replace the clutch. Before replacing the car clutch, clean all the components to be free of oil, grease, and dirt. After replacing the flywheel, replace the car clutch with a newer one. Slide a new clutch disc and position it using the clutch alignment tool. After sliding the newer clutch disc, bolt on the pressure plate with bolts and replace the transaxle. Step 5. Reattach the TRANSAXLE. Now you are ready to refit the transmission but before fitting the transmission, assemble the new release bearing with a release lever and fit it with pre-greased pivot points. The tip is to align the transaxle in the spine hole and nuzzle the transaxle forward to reattach it until it glides completely. Don't rush, just take your time at this step and practice it a few times until or unless you succeed. Once the transaxle is aligned, now place back the bolts and tighten them properly. At this step, take support of an additional transmission jack to secure all the pipes, wires, and gear selector linkage to the transmission. Step 6. Release the car jack. After placing the transaxle back at its position and tightening the bolts, release the jack slowly. Hold the transmission and allow the car to lower down back to its original position. Connect the battery and top up the clutch fluid with fresh fluid. Reconnect the electrical plugs, vacuum lines, and speedometer. Now is the time to hit the road again and test the replaced car clutch. Take a short drive to check that replaced clutch works completely fine. How much does it cost to replace a clutch in a car? Car clutch replacement is not an expensive deal. You can even save an enormous amount of charges that a mechanic charges for clutch replacement by replacing the clutch yourself. Replacement of a car clutch is an awesome opportunity to learn something technical in car battery guidance. 
It is a big confidence booster and represents personal affiliation with your car knowing that you can focus on its damages and repair them at a time. Most cars use a manual transmission and have a clutch replacement kit available that includes replacement parts and alignment tools. A car clutch kit costs between $150 and $500. Custom clutch replacement kits are also available that are expensive and range in thousands of dollars. Kindly remember, it is advisable to refer to the car's guide for insights into the components related to car clutch replacement before embarking on such a project. And that concludes our presentation. Remember to show your support by liking and subscribing for more captivating content. Thank you for watching.